not really anything ordinary about uh, partnerships between number 10 and 11 or even 9 and 11. That's the catch Carl Mills just clung on to. Kaspervich uh, up nicely in the air and pretty much straight down the throat of the man at uh, the final. main attribute has been defence. He's played some very important innings with um, batsmen down the other end. I think when you eventually get McGraw down the other end, that's the time that Gillespie should practice some of these shots that, uh, well, we've seen him play a few decent shots in his time. Right, McGraw on strike. Two to go this over. Oh, and it's uh, a quicker one down the leg side. The line wrong there. I think there might have been a little bit of a deflection off McGrath's pad. Umpire going to go. No, he's got a little edge on it. Well, there we are. He's gone to five. No trouble. He's almost got the average, hasn't he? An average of 6.5 for McGrath, and that has grown throughout his career. In the air. Oh, and just wide. Just wide of Gunny. It's exactly what uh, I believe Jason Gillespie should be doing at the moment. Obviously not trying to get out, but being aggressive. That's the goal at the moment. Leads 129 now. Ball's up there. Let's have a swing at it. That would certainly have taken a very good catch by Matthew Sinclair to remove him. Uh, that's the intention, I think, for the Australian batsmen for the while. Well, as long as they need over the next uh, half an hour or so, if they can last that long, they get out there and have a bowl. It's not a good time for the New Zealanders to bat. They've had a long day in the field. outside the line well, perhaps a bit of bat in it as well oh, that's beautiful for McGrath that's vintage McGrath that <laughs> oh, it'll be interesting to see what happens next so a short delivery which he's uh, pulled away there we are, back foot goes across, a few little movements in between there, but uh, the idea was right, and he's got it away in front of square. Oh, that's great. Take two. Mix up, and uh, didn't flick the stump, so I don't think so. I think he might have knocked the bales off. Yes, that's the end of the over. It's nine for 45. Oh. That's another mix-up between the bowlers. And the throw was pretty good. In fact, the throw was probably too good. Daniel Vittori thought it was going to hit the stumps. And uh, fortunately, he flicked the bales with his hand, dislodged the bale rather than catching the ball. Oh! And then the ball actually goes onto the stumps, but the bale's already come off. second I thought there was a catch there oh, they hit the bat that may well have been uh, a catch I thought he definitely hit hit there yeah, that's off the middle of the bat that is a drop catch oh and uh, that's pulled away in the air it's going to be out caught though oh he's dropped it and I think that he might have been just a little bit worried about his colleague coming towards him yeah, that's what it was. Richardson has put it down. Not two drops in this over. That's the first one, Brendan McCullum. And this one, Mark Richardson. McGrath did well to get it right between the two men. Called mine, mine about three times, Richardson, and in the end, I don't think he got a mid on that. Well, that's true. Still a little bit untidy at the moment by the New Zealanders and their pain. Yeah, pretty good shot. That was a short delivery. Not a very good ball. 
And so we showed you the first drop. Uh, the second one was this pull shot. And he's got one away and decided, well, we'll do it again. And he went uh, almost straight up in the air. But uh, they made a mess of it, and he's not happy. Once more, he brings up the 500. So the Australians are uh, nine down for 503. There's uh, even a member of the crowd there taking a picture of Jason Gillespie's batting. So <laughs> gives you some idea of what's uh, what's happening. They're, they're going well. Gillespie's now on 24. McGrath 13. Oh, he's cut it well. He's got right over the top of it. Back for the second. Oh, McGrath's pulling beautifully. That's nothing salt in the room. Well, he outthought him. Glenn McGrath, if you see the replay, has moved into position to play this stroke before McMillan's let go of the ball. He knows how McMillan thinks. Look at that. Back and way across his stumps. In a great position to play the pull stroke. So a good bowler out thinking a not very good bowler. Boy, how will McGrath enjoy that? Take a photo right for that smile. It was as sweet as a Gilchrist. Time for the game this time. A single. I don't think we should forget that partnership last night also between Martin and Clark. And that brings up the 50 run partnership. <laughs> Good effort. They all count. He's gone bang through cover. This is getting to a very embarrassing stage for New Zealand now. It is, and there's nothing Michael Clark did that was any better than that. Not even a full half volley. Thumped away somewhere near the top of the ball's bounce. Wonderful stride into the ball. And he just threw his hands at it. Yeah, good, eh? Ball tempted Yorker. It's getting to the stage where Australia are almost batting New Zealand out of this game. Going to make a lot of runs now to give Australia a chase in the final day. So they're almost looking for a draw at best New Zealand from here if they're good enough. For two. So it'll be over nine for five to eight. I don't know why they're looking so surprised in the viewing room. He's getting better and better. It's very poor bowling. Tired, short of a length. I don't think he can believe it himself uh, how much stuff he's been dished up. Straight off the middle of the bat, rolled the wrist over the top of the ball, the way you coach it. One short of his highest test score now, Glenn McGrath, it's 9 for 539. shaking his hand but uh, may have been the back yes I was just looking at the fact that Gillespie hasn't got an arm guard uh, and I was thinking to myself if it's hit his arm it could break a bone especially when it carries so far off it well, there it is and what a way to do it leaping down the track higher scoring test cricket I bet he's got another grin on his face seen two magnificent centuries today but folks sit back in your seats strap the belts on because the biggest celebration is just two runs away thing is he's going to make any adjustments 
Or is he just going to back his bowler? Is he going to slow it down? This is a huge moment and one man's great. This magnificent. I think the, behind the smiles there might even be just a tear or two there too. Just fantastic. The longest ovation for a 50 in the history of the game. In the air, but safe. On the one side again, over mid on. Slow to really pick it up and just grip it down for three. And keeps the strike. The over bowled. Nine for five, six, eight. Again. Oh, he's pulled it again. A long hop and he's gone bang. The outfield slow to run at least three. Well, Billy, there's been only one better pull shot played in this game for me, and that was played by Michael Clark yesterday over mid on for six. You, I mean, you just don't play it any better than this, to be perfectly honest. It's short, it smashes it so far in front of square. That's an incredible shot. Could be out this time, should be out this time, is out this time. So the end of a wonderful partnership of 114 comes to the end of the bouncer. Five wickets for Martin, but a wonderful batting display by the Australians. They're all out for 585. Yes, subdued congratulations for Chris Martin. The New Zealanders know they have been pounded away. Good catch here by Nathan Astle. Well, there is confidence, uh, a little bit of good. Running back and judging it well, quite comfortably in the end. To make a lot of ground, but uh, let's just reflect on Gillespie and McGrath. Been their time. What an imposing total that was by Australia in their first innings. 585 all out. It was allowed to drift on into the fourth morning.